What's up, y'all? So I'm back home in Texas right now. Been deer hunting here for the last four days. Uh, it's our opening weekend of bow season here. And it's usually a big deal for us. Uh, myself, my dad, his two best friends, other family friends. Uh, we all come down here opening weekend of bow season every year and we all hunt together. Uh, this year I brought my girlfriend Rachel and you saw her kill a hog back in August Actually, just right back that way I wanted to bring her down here while I had time this weekend and try to help her get her first deer with a crossbow So it's been hot big moon and about 10 days ago We got first rain good rains here all summer and that put a just real fresh green brows You know about that tall real tender and as the deer have been hammering that which in turn takes them off the feeders because we're hunting feeders down here. That's the main food source for them, especially in years like this when there's not many acorns and things like that. And it's been real dry. So like right here, I'm standing under this oak tree and it's usually loaded with acorns and it doesn't have nothing. I mean, just these little bitty, I mean, nothing's really producing. Um, I'm sure they'll get there eventually, but right now there's no acorn crop to speak of. So this fresh green browse come up and it's got all the deer off the feeders, not to mention the super hot weather, you know, highs in the 90s, mid 90s, and a big moon. So it made deer hunting really, really tough. So for the first two and a half days when everyone was here, we didn't see much at all. I think me and Rachel maybe saw one deer from the stand, saw quite a few turkeys, which is always fun, but it was just really slow. So everybody headed home, and then myself and two of my buddies stayed here, and we've been hunting and finally got into some deer the other night. Uh, just got off the beaten path and went and found a bunch of fresh green browse and uh, started hunting from there. So let's get right to it. So last night, this is the night that I came up in this area and I was planning to hunt out of my saddle and ended up just having to get on the ground. I missed that doe. slip in here to go ahead and hang my saddle set up in my camera arm and everything. That way when I come out this evening, I don't have to worry about it. I got a good southeast wind. I'm working right into the wind, right to my tree. I think I can get in there without boogering too much because I feel like all these deer are bedded more further to the south of where I'm headed. And that, that seemed to ring true yesterday with the way all the deer I saw came to me. 
Yeah, that wind's really picking up now, so that'll help. It's so crunchy out here right now. If, if it ain't wet from rain, which doesn't do that out here ever, or super windy, makes it really tough to move around. Hopefully, we can get in here clean.
think she's toast. I'm sure you like leave. I think I just torched her. shot at a deer out of a saddle. Watch back this footage to see what it looked like. <laughs> a tree. The tree I was in. Right back that way. 70 yards. She's dead right there. Yes, sir. She was smoked. Got that summer coat still. A lot of that red in there. Still coming off. All right, so there she is. That didn't suck at all. Smashed. So I'm gonna ease up here, gather all my stuff while I got some light get out of here get back to camp I got a lot of work to do now before I hit the road bright and early in the morning 
head north, Iowa. That's gonna do it for this video. Hope y'all enjoyed that. A little Texas two-stepping, a little redemption story. Thank you for watching. We'll see you on the next one.